Wisconsin heading to Nebraska, and Nebraska is a 10.5-point home underdog here. The total sits at 39.5. This one, 12 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. And let's go on and pull up the stats here while I'm reading off the trends. Uh, you look at the trends here, and let's see. We have got... Da, 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 da. The road team is 5-0 and against the spread in the last five meetings. That certainly bodes well for Wisconsin. Uh, you look at the Badgers, they are 5-2 and two against the spread against teams with a losing record. They are 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven road games against a team with a losing home record. However, they are 1-5 and five against the spread in their last six road games. Uh, so how do you break all that down? Nebraska, on the other hand, uh, they are 4-1-1 one one against the spread in their last six in November. Uh, they are 2-5 and five against the spread in their last seven home games. So, definitely not great. They're 3-7-1 and one against the spread in their last 11 games overall, so that is certainly not great. Uh, my, my number has it based on the last five weeks of stats. Uh, Wisconsin minus 15.64. I don't know that I trust them to be able to, to win by, you know, 15, by more than two touchdowns, but I could certainly see them winning by two touchdowns. Uh, this, you're not going to see a ton of passing. I don't believe, from Wisconsin in this. And that is because Nebraska is number 121 in rushing success rate allowed. Uh, Wisconsin is not great on offense at that, number 85. But they are number 46 in PPA per rush. And Nebraska does a pretty good job of limiting explosive running plays. But part of that is because teams can get five yards whenever they need to against them. So you're still going to have Graham Mertz trying to throw the ball here and there. But I don't think you're going to see that much happening. Uh, I don't think you're going to see a bunch of turnovers here, um, at least not from Wisconsin. This seems like a fairly easy cover. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ride with the Badgers here to be able to get this done because I don't think that this Nebraska offense, even if Casey Thompson is back, is going to be able to do anything against this Wisconsin defense. Uh, Wisconsin number 17 PPA per rush defense. They are number 23 PPA per pass as far as explosive, or excuse me, as a success rate. Uh, Wisconsin number 13 in defensive success rate allowed over the past five weeks. And yeah, I'm absolutely going to be all in on that. So, um, yeah, this is this makes a, a whole lot of sense to me uh, that Wisconsin would be able to get this done. And the hook may scare some people off. Doesn't scare me. Give me, give me the Badgers to cover the 10 and a half here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>